To create the hand, click New, Metric, Standard Millimeter IPT and Create. Start a sketch and draw a circle. Dimension that circle 2.5 millimetres. Finish the sketch and extrude that up 5 millimetres. Start a second sketch on the top and draw a circle. Dimension it 2.75. Finish the sketch and extrude that circle up 1.75. For the top of the hand, the claw part, we want that to attach onto the top here. We can't draw on a curved surface, so we have to use the work planes. Click on the origin and find the work plane that runs directly down the middle of the arm. And turn the visibility on. We want to then sketch on this work plane. We can half this by right clicking and selecting slice graphic. That then removes the front half of the hand and we can sketch on that surface. The sketch we want to create is a circle in the center Dimension that circle to 5 millimetres. Then dimension the distance from the top to the bottom 3.5 millimetres so that the circle overlaps the hand. Draw a second circle. Dimension 3.2 millimetres. And then to create the claw, we're going to use the line tool. The claw will be the same distance from the edge as the edge of the cylinder. You can see the dotted line shows here. So click on where it snaps to the edge of the circle and bring that down. Then do the same thing on the opposite side. Click and snap to the edge of the circle. We're then going to trim away the excess that we don't require and finish the sketch. As you can see, that sketch is sitting directly in the centre of the arm attachment. Click on Extrude and it tries to extrude the sketch in one direction. What we want to do is do a symmetrical extrusion and extrude that 3.5. That's now created the claw at the end of the cylinders we created earlier. You can then remove the visibility and save this as hand.